Hi, Billy. Milestone three, your antiques dealer project. All right, so uh, tough time coming up with ideas uh, that didn't include a model. Uh, yeah, most people end up using a model, and um, if you have access to any kind of antiques, that can work as well. Um, so uh Idea was not to have a visible face. Yeah, I, I like that. It kind of has a feeling of it can be any person. We can substitute ourselves uh, for that person. I think that uh, absolutely works. So uh, let's just take a look at your images and kind of go from there. So um, very dramatic lighting. I really like it. The black and white. Love the black and white. Um, although I think it's really not actually black and white. I think it's just a the way the, the lighting is and the, the lack of color in the scene. Because we can kind of see down here, especially when we get to the ones with the Jeep in and we have the uh, the yellow of the lights and uh, the, the, the lens flares are colored up here. So a uh, couple of very strong images we're going to talk about. Um, the coffee, eh, the coffee works. Um, uh, things that we can do better. Um, so any, if you ever take a food photography class, um, they'll, they'll cover this. But the, the coffee, um, get yourself a straw, blow some bubbles in it so it has that really fresh poured feeling to it. Um, so the, the ones with the fist, yeah, not, definitely not as strong as the other ones. So let's talk about your, your two critique images here. I'm going to zoom out so we can get the entire thing in the frame. And incredibly dramatic. I love this image. Um, the, the subject matter is pretty much right on the one-third line, so my eye goes boom right to the, the model. I want to see the face, but I can't, so it's very mysterious. Um, and then my eye just kind of goes down this line here. It pulls me through, and then I kind of come back up in here. So we're doing a good kind of one-third, two-thirds going on here, and I think it really works. And the quality of the light shining down has created a wonderful feeling of texture on the, the background here. Um, the other thing to keep in mind, we were looking for you to illustrate uh, emotion. So what I'm getting from it is sadness, is maybe some, um, maybe melancholy. Um, I don't know so much about regret, but definitely the sadness is there. Uh, also remember to make sure that you rotate your images the way they were shot. Um, but I love this one, how we're kind of looking out and we have this beautiful little colored uh, orbs of light kind of going down and through and I think that works very nicely so I think you've got two stellar critique images here you did a great job on this um, like I said the others are eh, but really the shining stars are are those two that I pointed out so uh, great job all in all if you have any questions please don't hesitate shooting me an email